Tori Aaliyah and I am back with another video um, before I start off this video I just want to wish everyone a happy new year y'all it's 2022 and I just want to say you know thank you guys for continuing to watch my channel if you're new here thank you for watching welcome to you know all the videos I have here and yeah I just want to wish everyone a wonderful 2022 a prosperous new year I hope you achieve all your goals that you um, have wanted to accomplish and if you've made New Year's resolutions I hope you get to accomplish all if not most of them so yeah let's get into this video okay okay so i let me get comfy so i wanted to come on here and do this video as like a recap of 2021 usually people shoot this video like the last day of 2021 but i was like i didn't want to so i'm gonna do it today and just give a quick recap of like what's been going on with me and uh, you know what i want for myself for this channel in 2022 so yeah let's get into it 2021 has been honestly it wasn't a bad year and it wasn't a good year it was in between i think like majority of 2021 i was working full time so i was going to work coming home repeat some days I worked like my some days I worked Monday through Friday then other days I worked Monday through Saturday and yeah I was just always at work you know just working and after a while it did kind of get like it did start to bother me because I've never had like a full-time job before I was, you know, I've been in school, then in college, I was working, but it was part-time. So being at work every day, like every day, and knowing that like you have tasks to do, and then you have to go come back tomorrow and finish them. Like when you work part-time, you're like, you know, you do what you do at your shift, and you're like, I'll see you guys when I see you. But like everything falls on you when you work full-time, it's like, this is what you're doing like every day so that did um start to take a turn on me and i did find myself like in kind of a depressive state just like kind of sad like man like i don't like this and my job wasn't like bad or anything you know like i i really hit it off with my co-workers that's like one of the jobs that i would i can honestly say like i got along with all my co-workers like we were all cool it was like a nice work environment in that way that like we all got along we all had each other's backs and i really liked them it's, and i really like my boss like she was dope so i was just like you know when it was time to leave if i think i've mentioned it that i um left my job and i left my job back in like towards the end of september not because like how i hated them and i wanted to leave it was just i needed some time because i realized with how my work schedule was it didn't give me a lot of time to um study i've mentioned this time and time again on my channel that my goal is getting into a physical therapy program and to do that you do have to take a general exam like a standardized test as part of the admission process and I suck at standardized tests it's not my strong suit y'all I freak out I freeze up I'm not good at it so the time that I would take after work to study for it was not working out for me like I wasn't retaining the information I wasn't taking the practice exams like I wasn't motivated at all and it's because my shifts were set in a way for work that I was working like 7 to 3 today. And then the next day was 12 to 8. 
then the next day it was back to 73 then 12 to 8 and I like that staggered shift schedule made me not have time to study like when I got home after my 7 to 3 shift like I'm tired because the night before I worked 12 to 8 and then I snapped then I was back at work early in the morning so I never felt like I had time to study and then I ended up working some weekends like some Saturdays so I was just like it's not gonna work. I took the GRE once and while I was doing work and my score was not great. So I was like, yeah. And uh, you know, after a time, like, okay. after a time, you know, there were some things at my job, even though everyone was cool, it was certain things that I didn't like. And I was just like, you know what? I think I need to make a break now. I did have kind of like, I did feel a bit guilty like, girl, you have a full-time job, you got benefits, and you're leaving it. And there's people that lost their jobs in the pandemic and are having a hard time. And I did feel guilty in that way. But I was, at the end of the day, I figured, you know what, I gotta do stuff for me. Like, I really have to make sure that my first priority, which is getting into physical therapy school, is, you know, taken care of. So I took that time and it was great. Like, it wasn't perfect. Like I was studying and stuff and I was at home and I wasn't doing anything, but you know, studying and trying to be more, you know, consistent with YouTube. And I did um, get a chance to take my GREs again, did a lot better. And I even recorded that because I took it again in December. So it was in like my first Vlogmas. So yeah, it worked off in that way. And now, you know, I'm back to searching for a job for the new year since I've taken care of that and, you know, finished up all my admission process, all my stuff on PTCAS, which is the website you use for physical therapy school to submit everything. I've gotten all my letters of recommendation. Another thing was, <laughs> so I asked my advisor and he taught me like, he taught majority of my courses, the main courses for my program in college. And I asked him to write me a letter of recommendation, right? And he was like, yeah, sure, I'll write it for you. No problem, you're my favorite student. And then he notified me, but um, I don't work at Penn State anymore, which is the school I go to, went to. So yeah, he was like, I don't work there anymore. So he sent me his email, his private email, for me to email him all the info to send over the letter of recommendations. I sent him all these, I sent him everything. I asked him in advance, y'all to write this letter of recommendation. I gave him the due date. I even moved the due date up a bit in case he was running late. So I was like, this is what I need it by because certain programs are different in the time, the deadline. But I was like, by this time, it will cover everything. And I noticed it's approaching the deadline and I'm the type, I feel so bad bothering people. Like me asking him to write this letter was already like, so like anxiety ridden for me that I was just like, I feel bad like following up like, hey, are you writing this? But I asked and he didn't reply y'all. He did not reply and I was like, I'm wondering if he didn't get my message. Mind you, it's approaching now. I email him again. I'm like, hey sir, I'm not sure if you saw my other email, but I just wanted to follow up to see if you were, you know, having some issues or anything if you needed anything else for me to write this letter still didn't receive anything so what I had to do was I had to quickly email another professor one of my other good professors and he got back to me and I had to email the school that was the the first school that had their earliest due date I had to email them like hey I'm having difficulty getting in contact with like one of my professors and they were like, that's fine. If they do have a bit, um, they don't have to write it right now. I guess like professors get like some type of leeway. They don't have to submit it on the due date. So I was like, perfect. I reached out to another professor. He was um, 
so nice about it he's a um like i'm really familiar with him too but i was just like thank you god because this man would have left me for dead my advisor and i'm just like where is this man to this day i set up like um notify me if this person emails me emails me back and i still have not heard from this man and it's not like i can ask people that i went to school with because like i said he doesn't work there anymore and i'm just like what is going on with this man i've never he's always been on top of stuff i'm like i have to be asking myself like i hope he's okay like because this is odd you know like i graduated for a while now but like girl i'm i was like i can count on one hand how many black students was in my program okay so he knows me he knows me okay i went to he was my advisor and i was just like this is odd but anyways got it covered i ended up even having more letter of recommendations than i needed because i was reaching out to other people too because i'm like i don't i don't know what to do at this point so yeah that happened and you know now that's all taken care of i sent everything and now i just have to cross my fingers pray to god that i get accepted into at least one program you know that's all i can ask for but yeah other than that 2021 was pretty simple um what did i do otherwise last year i went to miami to look at physical therapy schools and i really didn't do much like honestly i was home between work and stuff i was always home i didn't do much honestly i didn't get to see my friends a lot that i went to college with because everyone lives in different cities and you know people are working in school so I haven't seen all my friends since like my birthday, like my really close friends. And then I saw Mia, you, you guys know Mia, and I saw her for graduation. She came to my graduation, so I saw her for a little bit. But other than that, I haven't really done anything. I don't have any friends in Philly that I'm really close with. Like everyone's moved out of state or whatnot. So I'm just like, this is my life. I just, I haven't done anything like except exciting so that's why i wanted to make this video just to be like you know what for 2022 like we're opening a new leaf like turning over a new leaf like i definitely want to go out more you know put myself out there meet new people not saying there's anything wrong with like my like the people that I have in my life now i just mean it would be nice to have some people in philly that i do know that i can hang out with every now and then because it does get boring at home and i just want to go out more like that's the thing i could go out more like i have ideas of places and things that i want to do but i have no one to do them with and i know my mom is down you know she's the number one she's my number one best friend but like sometimes you don't want to go everywhere with your mom you know so definitely want to be more out there and my goal really is to get monetized on here you guys i'm getting close i need about like 400 more subscribers or like 300 and something i think yeah to get monetized on here that was one of my goals last year unfortunately i didn't achieve that but it's because i wasn't consistent because since i did vlogmas and everything my subscriber count has gone up a lot so i realized that being more consistent has helped and doing vlogmas was really fun so and it did teach me like how to really stop procrastinating and just film the video and edit it like you know just get it over with i'm not making like crazy videos where i need to edit like add so much edits to it so it is it is something that is possible that i can do and i can put out good content every week you know just to be consistent 
and yeah that that is one of my goals for 2022 you know just to be more consistent on youtube on other social media platforms i just i love how people on youtube have like gained like a community on here like their subscribers are like so sweet like of course there's the trolls and all that but like people that have that community people that care about them people that write comments and like encourage them and they can have talks and, ha and talk about things and create topics in the comment section i want that for my channel and that's why i'm really trying to take it more serious of course the goal is to eventually you know earn some sort of income from it but i've tried not to look at youtube that way i try to um look at it as you know just a way to express myself and if i do get some type of outcome from it i mean income from it then you know that's an added bonus but i really i really want to push myself out there and be more creative and show my creativity on here and just you know create a community where all of us can get on here and talk and vibe so yeah i just want to thank all you guys that are with me right now thank you so much for continuing to watch my videos thank you for those who take the time to comment it really means a lot to me i love when you guys comment on the videos because it shows that you know you do actually like my content like when i see the views it's nice but it would be nice as well if you would comment because i won't know what you're looking for and yeah let's see am i going off topic i feel like i've been rambling but yeah, um, so yeah, that is what I'm looking forward to. I know it's going to be difficult with, you know, Mr. Omarion coming up in here, ruining everything. But, like, all these new variants, it's, it's really ruining. Like, I feel like I look at it and I'm like, man, this pandemic really had to come while I'm in my 20s. Like, it's so annoying but i'm just like you know what like it's happening what can i do just you know be safe it might hinder some of the things that i want to do but all in all i'm still gonna try to make as much things happen while being safe and yeah i'm excited for 2020 i hope you guys are I hope everyone with the new year is just feeling more motivated to really chase after their dreams, do stuff. It, I know it's not going to be easy and I know it's not going to be like all fun and games. Like there's going to be moments. I know that, but you know, I am like, I'm happy to have made it to a new year. I'm happy to have all my family and yeah i'm just gonna make the best of it but i'm done rambling i hope you like this video let me know what your if you have any goals that you want to accomplish you don't have to tell me like you you know it's some some of these stuff are private but you know things that you want to work on you can always comment them and let me know and once again, I do hope you have a wonderful year. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys for subscribing if you're subscribed. And please subscribe if you haven't because like we're going to be making lit content over here. And I'm definitely going to be posting every week at least two videos. Okay? That's, that's one of my goals. At least two videos each week. So look out for that. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. I don't want no scrap.